Matrix Mind Influences, A Simple Examination of Mental Impacts. Let's start off with the simple and obvious. We have with the mind input me methods our, our five senses, which are sight through the eyes, smell through the nose, and related to that is taste through the mouth. We have the sense of touch all over, and finally the sense of hearing through our ears. With these five, five senses, we ascertain the environment and the world around us, and we de develop our reasoning and logic skills. In addition, there are fabricated mind input methods, that me that's methods we create for ourselves include virtual reality where everything is virtual and all our environments blocked out of our senses in augmented reality where some of the outside world is let in where it where it's mixed in with virtual objects and from this we can also go on to mental states there's internal sources such as, for example, with the physical chair, you had to have first had the thought of the idea of a chair for a person to sit in. So with these, with these ideas, where do they come from? And where is the original idea? These are some things to think about. And specifically with the chair, First, a person would have to have come up with the idea, then had to have come up with the engineering drawings for it, and then finally to have constructed it out of the material. Going on with internal sources, we have our imagination, dreams, and fantasy. We can think up internally of for our own selves our own little dream or scenario to entertain ourselves and that's where the ideas of movies come from but then we also have to consider visions and hallucinations and this begs a question are these sources exclusively internal what about external sources that generate thoughts within our minds, such as spiritual ones. So, considering virtual reality, augmented reality, what if we came to the point where we can no longer distinguish between fantasy and reality? Where we did not, where whatever we saw, heard, taste, felt, touched, we weren't sure if it was actually existed outside of ourselves or not. Another question, what if we spent our entire lives in an underground city where everything we came into contact with was fabricated either by man or machine? What effect would that have upon our minds and ourselves as well? Just think about this. An entire life spent in a manufactured underground city where everything that we see is created was done so by man or machine. So go, moving right along back to external sources. Here's the conclusion. We need external objects that we did not fabricate or modify to testify that things exist outside of our control and that there is an outside creator. So the true solution <clears throat> whenever you feel lost, mentally lost, don't know what to believe, isolated, separated from other people, feel confused, unclear, not sure of what is true or what is real or what matters.
You're perplexed, bewildered, you feel lost. You can turn to Jesus Christ, who is the source of all truth, and he is truth himself. He will never lie to you, and he's the one who was crucified for you. He is the one who conquered death and was raised back to life by God his Father. And he meets us wherever we are in the power of his Holy Spirit. So the true solution to mental states of confusion is to believe upon Jesus Christ, have our minds filled with his Holy Spirit, and be transformed from within into right thinking. And for all of those of you who already believe in Jesus Christ, keep in mind this. We are admonished to set our mind on things above, where Jesus himself is, sitting at the right hand of God. And to be focused on things above in heaven, and not so much things on earth. Because the highest honor that we have is that God the Son would go to the cross for us. And even ever after having been raised from the dead and being seated at the right hand of the Father, always intercedes on our behalf against the evil one.